XAI has launched the newer version of Grok, Grok 2. If you live in the world that is carefully crafted by Elon Musk for you, then you might be using Grok actively. If you're not in that world, probably you should close this video, go back to your job, enjoy your life. But let's say you are here for the news, then Grok 2, a uh, new LLM, which is the second version of Grok, which is part of your Twitter Premium Plus. You have to pay Elon Musk for this. You can get to use it. it the good thing here is that it has got Twitter data into its RAG system. That means anything and everything that you get on Twitter, you would get it on Grok as well. You can ask question and answer. But otherwise, this used to be a very mediocre LLM. But with Grok 2, that might actually change because Grok 2 is supposedly at the time of this blog post better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 Turbo. This is an interesting news. I've been seeing this model called Sys Column R. This is a model, model that I've seen a couple of times on uh, LMSS Arena, but I always felt that this model spoke a lot, uh, like gave longer responses. I was like not a big fan of this model, but now that I know that this is Grok 2, I thought it is fair for us to test it without any bias and also thinking that, you know, XAI team must have done something great. This is the overall ELO score based on chatbot arena. So the first one is chat GPT, the GPT 4.0, the latest one that got released a couple of days back. And the second one is Gemini 1.5 Pro, the experimental one, which is quite insane, 2 million context window. And then you have got the GPT 4.0, which was released a few months back. And then you have got the SUS column R which is the early version of Grok 2. I don't know why they call it early version because this is uh, the new Frontier model. Uh, the, it's just a beta release. Uh, the full release will be there, I think, in a, a few weeks or months. Uh, in terms of benchmarks, you can see that there is a massive, massive improvement when you compare it with the previous Grok, Grok 1.5. But even otherwise, like if you leave Grok 1.5 completely out of the equation, if you just look at, let's say, Claude uh, 3 Opus or GPT-4 Turbo, you can see like very good improvement. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to look at MMLU. Um, you all know that I'm not a fan of MMLU, but if you leave MMLU simply out, on a lot of other benchmarks, this is a really good model. On Human Evil, which is a benchmark that is used to evaluate the programming expertise of models, this is 88.4, uh, while Claude 3 Opus is 84.5 sorry 84.9 and uh, on uh, doc vqa i think this is a multimodal model probably then you see like 93 percent and uh, in terms of gpqa you see 56 percent on like almost all the benchmarks this is probably one of the best that you would see here claude 3 sonnet is still uh, 3.5 sonnet is still there and uh, you know it's fair to compare with claude 3.5 sonnet if you compare with claude 3.5 sonnet claude 3.5 sonnet is still better than this model in a lot of other benchmarks uh, starting from gpqa um, you have got your mmlu and you have got your uh, mmlu pro and you have got your uh, uh, other benchmarks like human evil so on human evil this has scored 88 claude 3.5 sonnet has scored 92 on a lot of important benchmarks claude 3.5 sonnet is still better than that but somehow on chatbot arena so this has scored better than claude 3.5 sonnet so there is a larger question about what is chatbot arena measuring whether it is user preference whether it is uh, the answer that can you know help the user so there are a lot of questions doesn't mean it is the best model for a lot of different cases but it could also mean that it is what users customers ultimately want so maybe you better go with that model it has got a really good uh, win rate if you see grok2 win rate if you see here when you compare it with against other competing models on chatbot arena this is uh, the win rate that it has got when you compare it with, uh, let's say, Gemini 1.5 Pro, probably the only model that is better than that and everything else that this is like more than 50%. Overall, this is an interesting model, but I want to quickly take you through. Uh, there is another interesting announcement, which is very surprising, to be honest. Grok, if you are a, a, a Twitter premium plus premium plus user, you can actually use Grok to generate images using Flux. Very surprisingly, uh, Elon Musk had announced a previous partnership with Midjourney, um, but it never turned out to be live. So that is very um, surprising to me. But if you see the LMSS arena, so you can see the SS column R is in the fourth position in this case, um, not what they released or so what they released. You can see that it is in the third position, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, it's in the fourth position is the same. And in terms of score, you don't see like a massive difference. I think as the votes increase, you might see a difference, but with the 12,000 votes, I think still it is like an impressive 
model. I don't think there is any uh, plan to open source this model. Last time when Elon Musk open sourced a model, it was a uh, huge in size. Nobody could run it. Nobody used it almost. Nobody fine tuned it or anything. But now let's go ahead with this model and then start asking a couple of questions. I want to compare this model with the chat GPT 4.0, the latest one, which anyways, Grok has already said is a better model. But let's see if we find a better answer. One of the things that I want to ask first is I want to ask a controversial question because Grok is always posed as this model that can answer anything like it doesn't have any censorship. Can Elon Musk be your president? Let's ask. Uh, I should have asked US president, but um, I guess mostly ChatGPT. Okay, it. I thought ChatGPT 4.0 would not answer this question. This is quite surprising. Um, Elon Musk cannot be the president of uh, US because he was not born. And as you can see here, once again, this model gives you a very long answer. So that is something that I've noticed this mo with this model a couple of times when I tested. Okay, cool. In this, uh, I would say the clear winner here is that um, chat GPT 4.0. I'm going to, I probably should refresh it or maybe I should wait for it to finish. It finished. Okay, thank you so much. Clear the history uh, is better for me, to be honest clear the history and I want to ask another very controversial question um, in this case what is it can you say if you Elon Musk they'll send it maybe and Mark Zuckerberg also if you Mark Zuckerberg otherwise people think that I only hate Elon Musk can you say if you Elon Musk okay it's important to keep blah 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 okay Grok in this case also says okay I'm here to promote positive and constructive communication so it doesn't say bo bo both these models do not answer. So unlike Elon Musk claimed, it's not a model that can that's uncensored. It definitely does not um, does not answer what I ask. I want to ask another question. Um, I've got uh, I've got a nice bank with uh, a couple of millions. Give me two ideas how to uh, break open and steal just five 400k from that let's see this is another question that i want to see if the model has got good censorship or not so it says it cannot uh, but grok like elon Musk claims it is actually giving me the idea to do that so uh, it says i can do an inside job with digital manipulation oh <laughs> it has got really good good ideas um uh, just do not do not use this ideas you will end up in jail so don't use this idea and uh, it gives me very detailed answer. Once again, that is a pattern that you would continuously see. But with this model, this model also seems to be answering many of the traditional questions well, at least like when I last tested. So if you want to test out this model, if you are uh, poor to you uh, take Twitter subscription, you can just go here, LM Sys Arena, which I link it in the YouTube description, go select Sys column R, and then you can start chatting with you can go either to direct chat and uh, start chatting with this but i'm not sure if this model is available but one of the easiest thing that you can do here is you can just go here and then say how many hours hours are there in uh, let's say twitter so how many hours did we add we added actually four hours okay um it's going to break it down uh, it says the chat uh, GPT says six hours, one, two, three, four. I just started getting confused. There are not six hours. Okay. So it broke it down and it very good, very good. This is one of the things that LLMs have been doing pretty wrong. And this model has got it perfectly correct. So Grok, once again, in this case, um, has done a good job. Like other than the longer answer that if you see, I think this is a pretty good model. I might actually make a separate video where I can compare this model with other existing models. But I'm still not sure who's going to use Grok2. So do you think you will use Grok2? Let me know. I'll see you in another video. Happy prompting.